So raise your hand if you have ever been judged by someone. I've been judged by someone. Now put your hand down if that feels pretty crummy. Yeah, I bet most of us have put our hands down. A lot of times we feel if people only knew what I was going through, they would understand why I did what I did. But that's the problem. We spend all of our time thinking about ourselves and not about other people. We don't spend time putting ourselves in someone else's shoes to see why they might have made a particular choice. Or sometimes we're just judging people and they have no control over why they're being judged. So one of the most important things that you and I can do is to make sure before we pass any sort of judgment on someone else, we think through what it's like to be them. We put ourselves in their shoes. Jesus had something to say about this in Matthew chapter 7 verses 1 through 5. Do not judge other people. Then you will not be judged. You will be judged in the same way that you judge others. You will be measured in the same way you measure others. You look for the bit of sawdust, like a little, little piece of sawdust, in a friend's eye, but you pay no attention to the log sticking out of your own. How can you say that when you have a piece of wood stuck in your own? You pretender, first take the log out of your own eye and then you will be able to see clearly to help someone else. Have you ever pictured what that looks like? You have a log sticking out of your own eye and you're trying to see something in someone else's and pick it out for them. Jesus is saying this is the same way with judgment. Sometimes we have a bigger thing that we are guilty of and we want to in turn pick on this other thing this other person is doing. So before you go around judging other people, make sure to take a second and think about what would I want them to do if I were in their position. And remember, your goal is always to love someone as you love yourself. And so I think if you do that, you will be a little bit slower to pass judgment on someone else because we often have no idea what the other person is going through. And when you think through that, when you put yourself in their shoes, you're able to be more loving towards that person. Hey, thanks for checking out the video today. I hope that you learned a little bit more about judging and why you should not judge. Come back on Wednesday and we're gonna be talking about five things to remember when you are being judged. You can click right here to subscribe to our videos and you can click right there to find some other videos about other topics that you might find interesting. Thanks for checking out the video today. Give me a high five on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three.